Hello HP Touchpad users. Recently there's been an update for the nightly builds. For some time I've been testing out downloading these nightly Kangs and trying out little minor bug fixes and improvements to the Cyanogen Mod 9. Uh, people were hesitant to download these in some respects because they are unofficial and not yet tested. Well now Cyanogen Mod team has offered us official nightly builds with some improvements that you're going to want to know about. Here we have a side-by-side -side comparison of two HP touchpads. The one on the right is running the official nightly build which gives us Android version 4.04. .04. On the left, we have the older unofficial nightly build running Android version 4.03. With the newest official nightly update, we have stability improvements, video playback improvements, startup and shutdown improvements, and last but not least, Wi-Fi driver improvements. A lot of people have been asking for this kind of improvement, so here you go. This is definitely the time to get on board the nightly update night train and try out these updates. Let's go take it for a test bit. Let's try our video playback. See if there's any kind of noticeable difference. Education is all about finding teachable moments. Ugly Americans for fun. Let's try out some web browsing. Let's load up some pages. Seem that the right touchpad with the newer official build seemed to load quite a bit quicker. On the left side one, that seemed to crash with the Dolphin browser. Uh, next up to YouTube. Now I should mention, uh, I had trouble launching YouTube. Uninstalling and reinstalling YouTube seemed to work fine for me, and now I can open it, but it wouldn't launch for me previously, so it's something to note. Now once we're on equal playing fields here, let's load something up. Seem the unofficial one this round. Let's try something else. And unofficial wins again for YouTube playback. So far, so good. Now let's reboot and walk you through the installation process. Reboot into recovery. If you reboot and bootloader, it takes you to the same place essentially, so don't worry about it. Also, with the nightly builds, you'll be getting a new boot animation. Our friendly little android riding a skateboard is going through a wormhole this time. We'll test that out shortly. It seems that the shutting down and starting up seem to be going quicker on the right touchpad with the newer official build. Now, if we're coming from any of the other versions, we're going to want to wipe our cache. And go to Advanced to wipe our Delvic cache. Now this is recommended when going from an older version to a newer version. Once this is done, we can go to Install Zip from SD Card. Choose Zip from SD Card. And here we have the latest official nightly build. Now I'll install that so you can see. Now what you're going to want to note is it's perfectly fine to come from the unofficial builds. Upgrade like this, you're going to want to come from the older Alpha 9 versions. That's fine. Upgrade like this, no problem. Uh, one thing to note is that people have had issues with the G apps. So after installing the update, you're going to also want to reflash your G apps just in case. Again, I had a little problem with the YouTube 
where it didn't open for me, and I uninstalled and reinstalled it from the market, and it was fine afterwards. Just a little wait for the installation. It'll be slower to boot on the touchpad on the right after the installation, as uh, we'll have to rebuild our cache. We're going to optimize all those applications, and it takes a little more time. Anytime now. There we go. Now once we've done this, we'll also want to go to choose zip from SD card and pick the latest March 17 version of GF. So there'll be a link in the bottom. If it's updated, I will post a link to that. Once we've taken care of all that, we can go back to reboot our system now. And you'll be able to see the new uh, boot animation that comes with the nightly builds. On the right side, the official boot animation with the nightly builds. On the left side, my Simpsons XL boot animation. Provide a link to that. It's always nice to have variety. Oh, there goes our Android in a very Doctor Who looking wormhole. Cue the scary music. Now, noticeably, the touchpad on the right will take considerably longer to start up as it rebuild, uh, rebuild the cache. So, don't be surprised. Anyways, this update is for anyone with Cyanogen Mod 9. You can go straight to an official nightly build from an unofficial build, straight from any version of Cyanogen Mod 9, like 0 0.6, 0 0.5, and just straight update through Clockwork Mod, remembering to wipe your caches and reflash your GFs afterwards. Please give me a big old thumbs up, like, and subscribe if you'd like to see more tests and comparisons like this in the future. Thanks for watching.